16th All India Conference of the Centre of Indian Trade Unions CITU started in Chennai Tamil Nadu from 23rd January 2020 The conference is being attended by over 2000 delegates across different sectors such as banking telecom defence construction coal scheme workers among others They are representing around 60 lakh members from 25 states and fraternal organizations. The conference is being held on the golden jubilee year of CIT formation and the centenary of the founding of the first central trade union in the country. The conference also gains importance as attacks on the working class and the labor rights are rising under the current regime led by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Amid widespread protests across the country against the Citizenship Amendment Act, National Register of Citizens and National Population Register, the conference passed a resolution demanding the repeal of CAA and the rejection of NRC and NPR, terming the CAA as an assault by the BJP government on the secular foundation of the Constitution of India. The resolution called upon the workers of the country to carry forward the movement and uniting all other toiling and democratic sections of the people till these demands were met. The conference is being held in a situation where the work class of India is facing serious challenges. One is the attacks on their livelihood, on their words, on their working conditions and living conditions, on their rights, the basic rights. And the second is the BJP government's attacks on the democratic rights of the people, on the basic constitutional rights of the people and the human rights also. At the same time, the government after coming to power for the second time, it is trying to implement the RSS agenda of Hindu Rashtra, converting the secular country into a communal country based on this Hindu uh, law, which is called the Hindu Rashtra, the RSS agenda. So these are the challenges when the working class, particularly the CIT, groups are spawned from the slogan unity and struggle, which is fighting to unite the working class so that the micro working class can face the challenges of its neoliberal attacks. The government is trying to divide the working class into religion and caste basis, regional basis, etc. and also divert their attention, disrupt their unity from their real issues. The opening session of the CITU also passed a resolution in solidarity with the people of Jammu and Kashmir, calling for restoration of people's and workers' rights. On the occasion of the Republic Day on 26 January, the national flag will be hoisted and the delegates will take a pledge to defend the constitution and the unity of the country. The conference will conclude on January 27th after a massive public rally which will be addressed by the CITU leaders.